what's going on folks I'm about to show you how you'd be changing out your tail lights as well as brake lights on a Chevy Cruze this happens to be the Chevy Cruze LT model but it's probably the same for multiple different uh, Chevy Cruze body styles whether it be the wagon or the other one first thing you're going to want to do if you have this type of it is go ahead and pop your trunk and once you pop your trunk you'll see right here these two little tabs right here you can zoom up in on it so they can see that you'll have these two little tabs right here and what you want to do with those is pretty much you're just going to take like a, a flathead screwdriver and basically just remove those two tabs out and once you do that I'll show you what you got to do next this is also how you would change out your whole headlight assembly also so I'm just taking a flathead screwdriver kind of it's like little grooves at the top kind of just pop it open like that the bottom one the top one and once you've done that the next thing that you'll be using is a torque bit happens to be a T15 uh, torque bit that you'll be using to go in some of them may have um, Phillips head screw but this one happens to have torque bit so you're just basically going to be going inside taking out whether it be a Phillips head or a torque bit take that one out go down to the bottom it's the same thing at the bottom you'll be taking that one out and once yeah once you have these two um, torque bit screws out of it like that once you have those two screws out next thing you're going to want to do pretty much is just come and kind of next thing you want to do is kind of come on to the side and kind of wiggle and it'll come loose like this and once you have it out like this now you'll be able to have access to your brake light which would be down here as well as like you know different light bulbs that you have for example your brake light is right here you just want to spin it kind of wiggle it out like that and once you have it out all you have to do now is just grab it and pull it out like that and it'll come out and then you take your new one try not to touch as much as you can possible on the light push it back in go back to the hole where you took it out at and then twist it back in and then lock it in place it's going to be the same process if you want to change out like your parking lights or uh, turn signals and all that will be the same thing you just want to basically you'll have one spot here one here above, above here above here and also also if you want to change out this whole headlight assembly if you want to change the whole headlight assembly out then all you have to do now is just come right here you'll see this piece right here it's like a little red thing on it a lock push that back you want to push that red lock piece back to it slides back and once you do that you want to squeeze down on the red part like that and then pull it out and you can see what I did if you look right here see that red piece was out like that you can see kind of how it is I pushed it back it makes it go back like that then once you do that you can see when you squeeze it that little piece comes up which allows you to release it from off of your actual headlight assembly and once you do that now you'll have your whole headlight assembly off the vehicle in case you want to change it for a different style or say this one got broke or something like that cracked up easy to change it but that's how you would basically take off your whole headlight assembly and once again to change your bulbs you would just go right here pretty much and change your bulbs out on it and when you're going to put your if you take this whole thing off and you're putting it back on basically reverse process take your power connector kind of push it lock it in once you do that take that red piece push it back up you should see the little red part come right here when you push it back up you'll see that see when I'm pull it back see how you don't see it no more right there when you have it locked in correctly you should see that red piece like that once you've done that pretty much now you just want to take your whole brake uh, light assembly and pretty much just stick it back on you'll see this piece right here this right here is going to go inside of this hole right here so make sure that you have this piece going inside of there so basically just line it up make sure you have everything back together and just kind of push it 
like that and you'll know when it's back in and then just basically take your two screws put your two screws back in here and here then pop these back in you'll be done all right folks once again this is how you would change out your brake lights on a chevy cruise it's probably the same for multiple different um years as well as different body styles all right thanks please check out our other videos and please subscribe thanks what's going on folks i'm about to show you how you would close your moon roof or open it if it won't work because your switch is bad the first thing you'll have to do is look at on this vehicle it has like this um actual i guess it's like the control panel right here so most of them you'll have a spot in it where you'll have like a screw or something this one happens to be back here which takes a phillips head screw all right folks so i pretty much unloosened the screw on the control panel which is back here uh, next thing that i'm going to do is the screw that came out of here the next thing i'm going to do is kind of pull all of them are going to be different so you got to figure out how to take down your control panel for your moon roof what i'm going to do is just kind of pull on the front corners of this one and it makes it snap down and i have one in the back I kind of want to pull on to kind of unsnap it like that. And once I have it loose like that, what you'll see now inside of here is this wire right here. Just basically look where your switch is at and then look directly behind it to whatever wire is plugged onto your switch. And then this one is right here, so I'm going to be removing this switch. All right, folks, now that I have this wire right here removed, what I did was I took my control panel and pretty much just snapped it back in to the front corner because you don't want to have your control panel basically hanging by those thin wires because it could break it. So now that I have this down, this right here is basically what my switch is connected into that's actually controlling my moonroof. So if this switch right here goes bad, it's not going to work right. So the next thing that you want to do is, what I have is like a little piece of wire that I pretty much took off of an old um, phone charger, anything like that I just got. And I'm basically going to be jumping these holes. Alright guys, I'm about to show you how to let your window up or down. Sometimes your window, your actual, um, your your window switch may break. On this car, there's just one screw that's inside of here that I'm going to take out. You'll see your screw, just wherever you got to disconnect to get to this one. Once I take that screw out, I could pull this loose. And this right here is actually your window power. This is what controls your window up and down. So up for this one, I'm just going to pop this out. Now, this right here is what I can use now to let my window go up and down just in case my switch goes out. Now, I'm going to show you how to do it. First thing you want to do is have your car turn forward. Not on, but turn to where you can get power to. You'll hear your cars turn forward. The next thing I'm going to use is like these little wires right here. I'm just going to use to jump it with. You're going to have to figure out if you look closely inside of here, you'll see there's little metal, basically like little metal things inside of some of the holes. You got two on this side and you got four over here. You just have to figure out which wire goes into which one and then jump to the other side. So what I'm going to do first is, I have to use two wires for this. I'll stick this wire to let my window down. I'm going to stick this one in the first slot. Then I'll take this piece of wire. You may see a couple sparks sometime if you get it wrong, but don't worry about it. It's not going to damage anything. It'll just be a little spark telling you that the, that basically you, you got power run to power. So I wouldn't worry about that. And once you get that, then I'm going to take the other wire on here and I'll run it from 
the second one.